Hello everyone! In this video I show you how to repair flash problems on a Canon EOS 7D camera. Recently I had this camera which internal flash did not open up. The problem was caused by an external flash sensor which sensed that there is an external flash is attached to the camera. So I had to disassemble the camera, repair the external flash sensor and then assemble the camera. In this video I show you how I did that. It is important to put back the screws where they originally came from. Let me show you a trick which I use to remember where the screws were exactly. I have a paper which is divided into sections and I name those sections by the sides of the camera. Then I place the screws there by the relative position. In this video you can see that, but I have a dedicated video which I show you how to do it. The link is in the description below. Before I will start let me talk about the tools that I will use to repair the camera. I will use a PH30 screwdriver, a plastic spudger and a metal tweezers. If you are interested in buying them, then the links are in the description below. I hope this video will be useful, helpful, informative and adds value to you. If that's the case, please like this video, subscribe to my channel or send me a donation. The links are in the description below. If you have anything to add to this video, then share it in the comment section below. Also, there's an update section in the description. If I have anything to add to this video after it has been posted, then I add it there. So I would highly recommend to check it. So, let's get started. This is the camera which has problem with the internal flash. The problem is caused by a stuck external flash sensor which will be repaired in this video. As you can see, the internal flash doesn't open up. In the flash control menu, the camera indicates that there is an external flash is attached. The problem is caused by a small switch inside the external flash connector. The switch is stuck and that is the reason that the camera thinks that an external flash is attached. Let's start the disassembly. Remove the eye cup, battery, battery door and the memory card. Remove the rubber covers. Remove all of the screws.
Lift off the back panel a little bit, then disconnect the flat cable underneath it. Remove the left cover. Remove the front cover. Remove the back cover. Remove the two screws which are holding the top panel. Disconnect the cables of the top panel. Lift up the top panel a little bit and then disconnect the flat cable underneath it. The top panel has been successfully removed. Now let's continue with repairing the external flash sensor. Remove the screw and then the metal part under it. That small plastic pin is stuck in that hole, so first I have to remove it. This is the pin which gets pushed down when an external flash is attached. There is some dirt in that hole, so I clean it with the screwdriver. Let's try if the pin moves freely in the hole. I put some grease on the pin and then I put it back to its place. Put back the metal plate and then the screw in it. Let's test the external flash mount. If I push down the middle metal part, then it pushes down the small pin. Let's put back the top panel. First, reconnect the flat cable which is underneath the top panel.
Put back the two screws. Reconnect the cables. The cables are color coded, so they go into their matching color socket. Put back the bottom cover. Put back the front cover. Put back the left cover. Reconnect the connector of the back panel, then put back the back panel. Put back all the screws.
put back the rubber covers. Put back the battery door, battery and the eye cup. The assembly of the camera has been finished. The next step is to test the internal flash. The internal flash is working, so the repair was successful. I hope this video was useful, helpful, informative and added value to you. If that's the case, please like this video, subscribe to my channel or send me a donation. The links are in the description below. If you have anything to add to this video, then share it in the comment section below. So, thank you very much for watching my video and see you next time in my other videos.